In this video, I'm going to quickly explain what crypto loans are, how they work, and why one would want to use them. I do, however, first want to say that this video is not financial advice and that this is for educational purposes only. Loans against crypto are risky and you may lose it all, so just keep that in mind. That said, let's get started. So a crypto loan is essentially when you use your crypto as collateral in exchange for something. In most cases, it'll be for cash or other coins. In some sense, it's like a home equity line of credit or HELOC for short, but on steroids because you're using a super volatile asset as collateral. The reason why one would go through this method is because the person doesn't want to sell his or her coins for cash because of whatever reason. It could be that the person believes that the value of the coins will go up and it just makes sense to hold on to those coins than to sell them or perhaps the person doesn't want to incur a taxable event from selling the coins. As an example, let's just say that Joe incurs a sudden and unexpected expense of $1,000. But because his money's all locked up in different things, he doesn't have the money right now. He could sell his crypto and use the money, but he doesn't want to sell when the market's down, nor does he want to incur a taxable event. So instead, he decides to get the $1,000 by taking out a loan against his crypto. He finds a platform that will give him $1,000 in exchange for $5,000 worth of coins to be used as collateral, and they will charge him him interest at 5% for that loan. They also say that if the value of Joe's coins goes to $1,500, they will either notify him to either deposit more coins as collateral or to pay back some of that loan or a mix of both. A failure to do so will mean that they will have to sell Joe's coins on his behalf to protect their losses. They will then send Joe back any remaining amount. Joe likes the terms and so he sends over the $5,000 of coins to be used as collateral and the platform gives him $1,000 of cash. Only after Joe's paid back that $1,000 of cash plus any other fees or interest, they will then return the coins that Joe has sent them. So now that we understand what crypto loans are and why people would want to use them, I want to address two major risks involved with using your coins as collateral. The first would be the risk that the platform shuts down, exit scams, or puts a hold on withdrawals. It's very well possible that the platform goes out of business along with it, your funds that you've deposited due to a mismanagement of funds. Lately, we've been seeing this happen these days with 3AC or 3 Arrows Capital, Celsius, and BlockFi. In the previous example, if the platform went bankrupt, Joe would be out $4,000, which is the $5,000 of of coins that he put in minus the $1,000 that he got back in cash. The second risk would be the risk of the value of the collateralized coins dropping significantly and thus getting a margin call or liquidated. In many cases, a lot of lending platforms will have a margin requirement. This means that you will need to give significantly more in dollar value of the coins than what you're receiving. In the example from before, Joe gave five times the amount that he borrowed. He gave $5,000 worth of coins and only received $1,000 of cash in return. The risk with this is that crypto's prices are volatile, especially when prices dump. Using the previous example, let's say that the $5,000 worth of coins now becomes $1,500. Remember, at $1,500, the platform said that they will sell Joe's coins on his behalf if he doesn't increase his collateral amount or decrease his loan amount. At the time that happens, Joe may have extra money to pay back to reduce his borrowed amount, or he has more coins to use as collateral to reduce his margin call figure, which means everything is okay. However, if he doesn't do what the platform asks for, they will sell off his collateralized coins automatically and then give back Joe the money owed to him, which would be $500, which is the $1,500 of coins minus his $1,000 of debt. We're going to keep this simple and not include other associated fees. With that said, Joe essentially just got screwed twice because of that. Not only did Joe lose his coins, but he also realized a taxable event because his coins have been sold off. One thing that I want to make a note about is that during turbulent times, a lot of crypto networks become congested because people are sending coins from wallet to wallet and thus it becomes both expensive to send coins and your posted transaction may not even get through in time before the forced liquidation. This is not a common occurrence, but it's also not an uncommon occurrence. So just keep that in mind. So pretty much that's how crypto loans work. Whether it's worth it to take on the risk is up to the
the individual, but personally, I wouldn't loan out my coins for cash unless I had no other option. That said, how about yourself? Have you ever used your coins as collateral for cash before? If so, what has your experience been like and which platform did you use? Please let us know in the comments below.